here live in Facebook, brought to you by musicspool.com. And we are lucky to have no other than Mr. Isaiah Stewart. What's up, Isaiah? What's happening? What's going on, man? I'm happy to be here. How you doing? I'm great, man. I'm great. Uh, I'm looking forward to these quarantine concerts. So uh, they, these have been fun. Thank you for being a part of this. How have you been quarantining, man? Man, well, you know, I've just been, uh, I've been writing music, uh, you know, haven't been able to go outside. Uh, yeah. My parents, my parents have been going outside, but, you know, I've been writing music, uh, you know, trying to keep my head right. You know, I'm always trying to do something. You know, I'm, if I'm sitting Sorry. still, you know, you know Hold on one second. Yo, my production team that's coming through my live. I'm alive right now. But, uh, you know, just keeping my head right. Like, I think that's what uh what people should do for sure is always try to do something. Like, especially, like, if you have a career that you're going after, yeah. this is the time where you can really focus. You don't got to go to work as much. Or if, you know, if you're a truck driver, like, my dad's a truck driver. Salute to him. Uh, But if you're at home and you're not working right now, like, uh, I know a lot of people are unemployed now. This is your time to, you know, really, really get after uh, whatever you're trying to go for. Um, so, so before, and, and I know you got a lot. Man, I, I love that you bringing all of this energy. Today, <laughs> but but uh, we do this series, you know, Pool is a brand new streaming platform that is here to highlight new and emerging artists. You're not a new artist, but you are still emerging and developing. We, we do this series called Who Is, right? And so we want to know, first of all, our first question that we ask everybody when we're first meeting them and introducing them to the world. What's up, Sean? Let We want to know, who is Isaiah Stewart? So who is Isaiah Stewart? Well, um, a little bit about me is I'm an R&B singer and dancer. Uh, I have original music out on Apple, Spotify. Uh, and, you know, I got on Instagram videos to it. Uh, I also got a TikTok. But, you know, um, you know, I love to write music as well. Uh, I definitely don't want to have like a, a weak spot. And, you know, I want to be able to write. Writing is is uh, beautiful and it can, I would say it's my happy place, that in the studio. So, I mean, you know, I love performing. Performing is definitely my most comfortable place. That's my place, like, where you can really just show how you really feel, man. So, yeah. All right. That was a great, great answer. How long have you been at it, Isaiah? How long have you been? putting your best foot forward in your uh, musical career? Well, taking it serious since I was about, I'd say 15. 15 mm -hmm. is age. I, uh, I had like a songwriting coach and uh, he said, man, if you're, if you're thinking about this a lot, because when I, this was before I was, I was like fully serious about it. He's like, if you're thinking about this craft a lot, you should probably pursue it. Cause you know, there's only a number, you know, stage where you can get traction or whatever. So I was like, Man, I really thought about it, and man, I, I like teared up. <laughs> I was like, "Dang, this, you know, it really hit me." So ever since then, man, I've been, I've been after it. Yeah, that is dope. Uh, yeah. So you said since about fifteen, you had another life before mm -hmm. singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played, I played football um, for Deion Sanders. Yes, and, you did. Uh, yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> you were a hell of a football player. I saw you. Uh, yeah. What position did you play? I played quarterback. Yes, you did. Yes, yeah. you did. I went to I went to camps and everything. Paid many camp. I mean, yeah. I did I did the whole nine. So I took that really serious. I never thought then that I'll be pursuing something else. So that's really, you know, that's really cool that it actually changed because back when I was like ten or eleven, you couldn't tell me any different. So you know, now we're doing this, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Really, really. Yeah. Now you you said you're an R and B singer. I wouldn't have given you that title. Is that the lane that you're in R and B? Because I've seen you do many different styles, many different genres of music. So have yeah. you committed? You're committed to the R and B lane, or is yeah, it I mean, something, something else? I mean, for me, it's like uh, you know pop, R and like R and B pop. You know, uh, I wouldn't. That you're you're right. I probably shouldn't classify myself as one. Yeah. So R and B pop, even hip hop, you know, a little hip hop in there, you know, gotta add that swag in there. Uh yeah. you know, so you know, 
like I have, I have a song called Pieces, and uh, that's more pop. But recently, I've been doing like my my uh, my singles Ride for You and Down for Me. Those yeah. are more R and B, you know, hip hop vibes, you know, that everybody can vibe to. So, uh, yeah, those those hits are cool. I've seen you do some, um, and this is one of the things that I really loved uh, love about you that I've seen you do some some crooning, brother. Yeah, I've seen yeah. you. Crooning. Hey. Yes, sir. <laughs> I've yeah. seen you crooning, man. And can you talk to us about you as a as a crooner? Well, I think that it's important to, uh, you know, with with my style. We, you know, you want to whatever like my voice is most. How do I say it? Most I want to say talented, like most comfortable. That's where you probably want to go. So that that style of music right there is there's you can never go wrong with that, man. <laughs> right, right, right. You you've done it done it well. Is there a um, and by the way, you have uh, uh, Emily Reed is watching, Beth Reed, hey, <laughs> uh, What's up? Patricia Henley is watching. Hey, uh, you got you got some fans out there, man. Um, this, 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 they're showing the love and hitting the hearts, man. So that's amazing. Um, Appreciate but you that. do you 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 have fans, man. You do shows, man. You do performances, man. Yeah, that, I mean that's. That is the bad bad thing about quarantine, man, is I can't perform nowhere. The only thing that I could do is maybe like on live, like how we're doing right now. Or, but you can't go outside, you know. I mean, I miss it so much. I'm having, I'm having like withdrawals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, nothing like, there's nothing like performing in front of people that, that love you the way you love them. So, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. hopefully we'll get back to um, some sense of normalcy with concerts. But I do believe that, that this is probably your – your lane for the foreseeable future, how you right. how you capitalize on this this virtual experience. So it's gonna yeah. be continue to be important for you to get out here and, and do your thing. Emily Reese yeah. says, Yes, we love you, Zay. We oh, love you, love Zay. Y'all too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> love y'all, man. So um so you're uh, where what part of the world are you in right now? I'm in for oh for everybody to know Dallas Fort Worth area. Yeah. yeah. Um you know we we can't we can't do too much. We can go grocery shopping. That's about it. You know, every food chain is, hey, I'm not sponsored by DoorDash, but hey, get that DoorDash, man. That DoorDash, that's something else. <laughs> that DoorDash, huh? Yeah, man. So then, just it today. <laughs> and, and the weather's nice down there, right? Is it nice or is it right? What's the weather like? It's real bipolar, to be honest. It's like one day it's warm. Like now it's like real cloudy. Uh, You know, it's it, it can be cold. I mean, you can't. Okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's off the right. Night, so. Yeah. So um, you know, we're gonna hit we're gonna get a couple of performances. You're gonna see you're gonna bless us uh with some acapella stuff today. Uh you said you had some videos up on uh YouTube. Did you say you got some videos on YouTube? Yeah, man, I got uh first of all my YouTube is Isaiah Stewart, just my name. And uh I got like uh covers, I got original music. I even have one where uh, one time I went to American Cookies. This is a fun story. I went to American Cookies. Is that what it's called? Like Great American Cookies, I think. Uh huh. And uh, I sang with you uh, to the to this to this girl, like the cashier. <laughs> and it, it was so funny. Man. Was going, and it needs building. Hold on. So funny. You want to bring home? Oh the man, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to do I'm trying to do a little magic right here. Let's see if I can make this happen. Maybe you can tell us about what we're seeing or what we're about to see right here. Maybe you can tell us what's happening in this shot right here. Boom. Talk to us about this video right here. Can you oh, see that? Yeah, that, that, that one's called New Flame. That, that's a cover that I did in Dallas. I went to a development school. And, uh, you know, I was so hyped when we saw that video, man. Uh, you know, I got to sing and dance. Got a cool shot. Uh, the quality was great, you know, so, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm trying to see. Let's see if I can remix it so the people can maybe take a look at it. Yeah. But it's right there. I don't want to move it all around. I don't want to confuse the people too much, but that's you. You are the singer, the quint quintessential singer and dancer, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My man. <laughs> My man. Um who motivates you, man? Who's your inspiration? Who who did you uh, look up to? Who inspired you to get into this and take it as seriously as you take it? Man, uh, 
That's a great question. Uh, Michael Jackson, of course. I mean, I'm singing and dancing, man. He's he's the I wouldn't say he's the founder because you got James Brown and people before that, but he's really the one who uh, who really put it on the map. And so, you know, I've been looking up to him my whole life, watching videos. Man, I wish I had the video. I was like two. No, I was like nah, maybe five or six. And uh, I sang Beat It. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, I've been he, he's been there my whole life. So and then you got people like Usher, obviously, uh, Prince, uh, Chris Brown, you know, all those people. So that there's always someone amazing. to look up to, man. Just like Michael Jackson said, in order to be great, you got to study the greats. So, well, man, so. you are. I, I've been watching you, man, since uh, since your first like, you, and you're also a model, might I say? You model as yeah. well, but you've been modeling since you were a little guy. Yeah, I can't even remember. <laughs> like little three, four, yeah. some yeah. early, and you you still model today. But I remember watching you man and i you know man you already had the it factor man you always okay. had the it factor and i'm just glad to be a part of seeing you watching you experiencing it come together for all of you who are listening and watching right now you are experiencing something great it's like before the greats were great that's what you are experiencing right now you are a super fan and you definitely want to let the people know that you were there when he did his first interview at the quarantine concerts. You saw Isaiah before the world knew who he was. It's going down right here. So, so, so what's the first song you're going to, what's, uh, what's the first song you're going to bless us with, uh, entertainment? Yeah, maybe we can hit him with a little, little Mario, man. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away from the screen. I'm going to let you do your thing. I'm right here. I can hear you. I yeah. can see you. But I'm just going to put the spotlight, introducing to the world, everybody, the one and only Mr. Isaiah Stewart. Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on his shirt. You won't believe his stories. You know that they're all lies. Bad as you are, you stick around. I just don't know why. If I was your man, baby, you never worry about what I do. I'll be coming home back to you every night. Doing you right deserves good things. <laughs> A handful of rings. And I just want to show you all. You should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Oh, baby, good love and protection make me. And will you take me, baby? You. Baby, you should let me love you. Girl, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Come on, man. Hats off, brother. Hats off. You killed that, man. I, I wish I could see you like in your full thing with your suit on and, and you busting your, your two step. Yeah, hey, like, you kill it, hey, man. Hey, don't tell me twice. <laughs> 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 now, now, were yeah, you man. were you a natural singer, or did you have to work at it? Did you um, yeah. well, you have to practice it? Was it like yeah, you well, always could sing? Well, first, I mean, I'm I'm still working on. It. You know, I still got a long way to go, man. Uh, but to your question, um, I would say like I was born with yeah, definitely a voice, but it's definitely something that I worked hard on. Uh, you know, hours upon hours, you know, my having a strained voice from, you know, singing too much. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, I would say like halfway. I mean, okay. it's, it's all about hard work, for sure. For all sure. about hard work. Okay. Yes, sir. Were there any times where you sang and you felt like, oh, snap, I I, I bombed this thing. Like, uh, this was, this was, uh, like, tell us about your worst stage experience. Mm. Uh, man, I mean, for me, I'm never satisfied. Like, when I sing, man, like, you know, people will be like, oh, you did great. And I'm, you know, I'm super appreciative, obviously. But, 
you know, if I was satisfied with anything I did, then, you know, I'm just not going to get better. So I always, that's why I always record it. Like, it's not just for posting it. I'll record it to look back and say, oh, maybe I could have breathed more there. Maybe I could have, you know, put more emotion into that note. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of real, you know, picky about it. So. Yeah. Do you remember this performance right here? Huh? You remember this performance right here? Yes, sir. That was, man, the energy was great on that one. Yeah, man. Yeah. You were, uh, I'm going to put you out there. You coming on my show. I'm going to put you out there a little bit. In the beginning, uh, it looked like you might have had to put a little more work into the dance moves. Was, okay. that, was that a thing for you? Was that oh, thing? yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm still working on it. Like, <laughs> that's, I, a real, I, man. that's a real sure. thing to learn how to sure. sing and dance and keep the steps and everything. And you don't just wake up and I don't, I don't believe you just wake up and you know, know how to do that. It takes practice. You have to you have to put the work in, right? Yes, sir. I mean, I can tell you one thing that I do. I got a treadmill at the house, man. And with this quarantine, you know, I'm going to take advantage. So I'll get on that treadmill, man, and uh, I'll run. And while I'm running, you know, you sing. Maybe you start off walking, actually. You walk and you sing. And then you start jogging and you start running. If you can do that consistently, then you get on the stage. It shouldn't be a problem. So... That's where I gauge it off of. What is your ultimate goal? Like, do you imagine uh, a tour? Are you? Do you imagine like a world tour? Do you imagine being the artist that you know you got to sneak out the back door? You got paparazzi. Is that what you aspire to be? How do you see yourself, Isaiah Stewart, the entertainer? Yeah, good question. Um, I would say for me, it's it's not really about like some people think about and you know they they do what they want to do I you know I'm saying they will um, look at fame as their first objective for me it's getting myself right and making sure that I'm right and having the best music that I can have and the, the music that I love um, you know just doing that and then for people to I like it's kind of the same thing but I say it as I want people to hear my music I want people to I, I just want my voice to be heard you know what I'm saying? So the touring and all that will come. The thing I have to focus on is just getting myself right and make sure that the music that I make, that people can cope to it. And, you know, if it's a sad song or if it's a happy song, I want them to be able to, you know, bring their problems or whatever they got going on to that song. So you want to move the people. You, yeah, you want to be absolutely. a, and then you want to impress upon the people. Yes, sir. <laughs> have you been able to evoke that kind of emotion? Are you able? Have you seen the the young girl cry from your singing or come up and tell you you saved their life? Has that have you had any of those experiences? Well, my favorite performance, and I well, I'm not gonna say it probably is my favorite. I love all my performances. I don't want anybody like thinking, but uh <laughs> high school nation. Um oh, yeah. yeah, it's basically where you go perform for schools and uh and High School Nation, they got like a professional stage. They got cordless mics. And me as being as a dancer, I love cordless mics because you trip over the wire or whatever. But um, when, when on the first song or on the first, it was like five dates. The first date, um, we sang, it was probably like six or 700 kids. Uh, this is North Garland. Shout out to North, North Garland uh, High School. Um, and, you know, I was singing, I was singing an acapella song and, uh, I, I looked over at this girl and she was crying. I thought like something was wrong. Well, somebody after the show said that my vocals moved her. And so I'm like, that is the objective. I hope that she, I hope she goes, all right. I'm not trying to say that. Right, but right. The objective is to move people. As an artist, if I'm not, if they're just standing there and not feeling anything, I'm not doing, I'm not doing my job as an artist. So that's my objective. Wow. Wow. How do your parents feel about this, man? That, that you have groupies and you got you doing these shows. How did they take that? Because you graduated high school how long ago? How long have you been out of high school now? Uh, last year. So you graduated. Are you in college now or are you doing this full time? What's happening? Well, you know, a lot of people will take core classes and all that. For me, uh, I'm doing it's a Berkeley College of Music. And so uh -huh. it's just music classes. So I didn't like you know, fully like stop, um, excuse me. I didn't fully stop doing college. I'm doing right now, I'm doing a songwriting class. And basically, uh, it's like a group of people, and you know, you do, you write a chorus, you write a verse, and then you just record it. And when you do that, then you just send it in, and then 
you know, they grade it. And uh, okay, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now with college. Okay, for sure. Karen Reed Deo says his aunt cries every time he. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I, pre I appreciate you coming in. She's always supported me. She always has. I went, I went to LA for a label showcase, and uh, she was right there with me. So. Oh, you know, wow. I've, I've never questioned, you know, her not supporting me. I, I love her to death. So, so you, um, um, thank you, BJ. Thank you, uh, Chrissy J. Thank you, guys. Uh, they're saying this is a dope interview. They're saying this is awesome. Sure. Uh, this is great. So, uh, going back a little bit, you were talking about your desires, what kind of artist you intend to be. I heard you say you also write your own music. Uh, do you collaborate with other writers? I, talk, I heard you talk about the class, but do you yeah. uh, solicit for other writers to write in songs or do you ever write for other singers? Right. Um, well, I went to a development school and uh, yeah. and when I did that, we would write songs all the time. And we would, I never released it like on Spotify or Apple Music because, you know, it didn't really get mixed like that, like mixed and mastered. But uh, the experience was the most important. And so for me, uh, my objective now is to uh is to get music out because I've, I've only gotten a, a couple of songs out that are you know like professionally made you know what i'm saying like producers fully mix and master it so you know i really need to uh wait a minute wait yeah. wait time out flag on the play hold up hold up stop the clock wait a minute you said you only have a couple of songs that are professionally mixed and mastered yes so you've gotten all of this notoriety, all of these shows off only a couple of songs. What is your approach to your career, man? What, what's happening? How did you, you know, people? I know people that spend hours in the studio, right? You know, recording got hundreds of songs, and there's no exaggeration, and they haven't gotten nearly as far as you have. What is your approach? to the, the success of your career? Yeah, that's a good question. For me, um, I say this to every artist. The, the, how do I say this? The music industry is, you can't base yourself off of another person fully. Like say you look up, say The Weeknd, how did he make it? If you do that same exact thing, it might not work out for you because you might, it just might not be your, your lane. You might have to go a different way. And so, um, I would say, I would tell every artist or anybody who's pursuing anything, you just got to keep pushing. Whenever it looks like nothing's moving, right after that, if you keep going, I promise that something will happen. It might not be crazy, but just take those steps and just take those steps. And if you can do that, then you're on to something. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, man. Yeah. That is absolutely phenomenal, man. We are talking to Isaiah Stewart. This is the Quarantine Concert Series brought to you by musicspool.com, the new place to uh, be discovered and get discovered. So if you're looking for new artists or to learn about new artists, please feel free to go to musicspool.com, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, we are talking to Isaiah Stewart. Stewart, now we're not gonna go too far here, but it seems as though you come from uh, a very, very supportive family, whether it's the Reeds or whether it's the Stewards. How supportive are, is your family? I can see Beth. Beth, I see you, Beth. Beth, hey. is, making sure, Beth is making sure. That's my aunt. <laughs> Beth is making sure my house is full of people watching you. Absolutely. Hey. That's what's up. Love you. Uh, Emily Reed is watching. Linda Jones. Uh, Mubarak is watching how supportive hey, is your family man man um well i think that they know how serious i am and i think that's the first step to understanding how to support someone if they see that you're you know off and on or not serious then they can't fully support you they have to understand what your visions are what you're trying to go after and so um like um i call it nani <laughs> um beth that that's my that's my aunt and uh, she was also there in L.A. with me as well when I did when I did my label showcase. And, uh, you know, she's she's all the way from Missouri. I mean, that's that's a long trip. You know, we stay in a hotel. So, you know, like I said, I never questioned any of that, man. Th those are the real ones for sure. 
And those are ones that I'll never, never forget, obviously. Man. Yeah. Uh, people would, you know, give their left and right limbs to have the seemingly support that you have. So definitely don't want to take that for granted. Uh, support is important. And i um, glad to know that uh, you got a strong support system, man. That is absolutely phenomenal. Yes. All right. So um, we're almost halfway in. We are like, like, this is absolutely great, man. We are right on time. Um, what's the next song that you're going to entertain us with? Man, we, shoot, we can take it back. So I, how about how about we take it well, take it back, man? Ta All right, take it back. Tell us, do give us the setup. What's the song? What's the inspiration? Set it up for us, and then take us to it. Okay, so I know there's got to be some people in here who knew who know. Uh, you made me feel brand new by the Stylistics. Ooh, oh boy, that's that's one right there. Now that is no song to play with. <laughs> right, that song, you know. Um, the way that inspires me is definitely the soul behind it. That's one thing you can't question about that song. They they know how to get down, and uh, you know I definitely feel the emotion. And you know they're talking about a girl. I'm, I always love you know talking about a girl. <laughs> so you know that that's that's great. That's great. I'm gonna remember that when we come out of that. You guys are listening to the incomparable. I'm gonna keep using that until I find a better word. <laughs> the incomparable Isaiah Stewart. Take it away, my brother. My love, I'll never find the words, my love, to tell you how I feel. My love, mere words cannot explain. Precious love, you held my life within your hands. Created everything I am. Taught me how to live again. Only you. You care when I needed a friend. Believed in me through the get thin. This song is for you. Filled with gratitude. Hello, God, it's you. You make me feel brand new. For God bless me with you. You make me feel brand new. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, can't over here. See, I'm over here cheesing so hard. Jesus, so hard. I'm so proud of you, boy. You, you, you did that thing, man. That, that's it, man. awesome, man. Wow, Appreciate voice it. control. Look, I'm so glad that you're doing well because I'd have hated for you to be on here and be trash. So, <laughs> come on, man. Because then they, 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 they know that I was faking it, but you can't fake it when it's good. They know it's good. It's good. So. Appreciate they getting it. something real heavy right now, man. I'm appreciative of that. Thank you for doing what you do and bringing a seriousness to your artistry, which yeah. clearly shows, man. That's, you know, that those are the people that's going to make it, man. The people that put in that work um, yeah. and are dedicated to what it is that they believe in. And it shows. And that's what Emily Reed is saying. He keeps it real. Linda Jones said, I love this song. Emily says, all oh, love. Uh, Pam and Marvin are watching. Marvin Wilson. Uh, Miss uh, Christina Janelle says, "Now you better sing. You better sing." <laughs> so, hey. now, does does I, and everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to know. Does Isaiah Stewart have a girl? I don't. I oh, don't right you know, I I think uh, I'm real focused on my music right now. Really. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I, I get a little, I get a little shy of talking about this sometimes. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I, I'm here to push. I, I'm not gonna push you off the ledge, but I want to make you yeah. squirm a little bit. This makes for good interviews, right? For sure, for sure. I think, um, you know, there's nothing. There's never a problem with having having a girlfriend, but for me, I think that uh, 
it's very very important to focus on you know what I'm trying to get trying to get done and trying to uh, focus on. So, um, but yeah, I mean, just right now, right now, I'm just focused. So, <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna tell you, from me to you, that's a very very smart and mature move. Um, very very smart and mature of you. We'll 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 have some other conversation offline. But uh, yeah, yeah. very, very proud of you, Courtney. Courtney, yeah. Court, boy, Courtney Brown. Courtney, yeah, she's here. She said, hey. You better not, but then she says, Just joking, glad you're about your business. Hey, because yeah, I know I all these know. ladies in your family, they're not gonna let nobody come in here just talking about that's my boyfriend or whatever. I know this is gonna be hell on them, man. I know it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate everybody that's in here, man. I appreciate it, absolutely, sure. absolutely. So what else is important to you at, uh, what, 18, 19 years old? 19. Have you made 19 yet? 19. I'm 19. My birthday is in October. So. Oh, so you're about to be 20. Yes, sir. Oh, man. What's important to you outside of music? Mm -hmm. What else is important? Because we're trying to get to know Isaiah. And listen, I know you got a lot of family watching. And this yeah. is what I want to say to you. You know, you always stay true to yourself. But uh, I'm sure there's some parts about you family may not even know about because they're family, right? And yeah, we don't show every we don't show everything. But take a moment to to be free, you know. Um, mm -hmm. What about Isaiah? What outside of the music is important to Isaiah Stewart? Well, family is obviously important, <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, uh, God is very important to me. I take that take that real serious. Uh, you know, I'm nothing without God. And uh, that's huge. yeah, so I think that's the most important thing about anything. So um, that obviously, uh, but my favorite hobbies, I like to, um, I like to watch Netflix. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, stop. Time out. Stop out. Sure, time out. What you watching on Netflix, bro? What you watching on Netflix? There was a, uh, uh, a show. I know y'all know about it. It's called The Money Heist. The money heist. I've never heard of that. Yeah, the, a new season just came out, okay. and uh, okay. I couldn't miss that. I, I couldn't miss that. It's in a different language, but they have like people who speak over. Um, okay, the voiceovers are yeah, the narrate. Yeah, narrate. So they do that, and then uh, also the last OG with uh, Tracy Morgan and Tiffany Haddish. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw season, season one of that, but I know they came back with season. I ought to be at like season three by now, right? Yeah, they just they just released it on a uh, TBS. It has, it's not on Netflix though. So, okay, which is sad, but it's okay. <laughs> well, Courtney <laughs> says the money heist is the best. Yes, yes, cause, yes, yes. <laughs> um, I'm I, I think I've watched about all I could watch on Netflix, so I just recently switched over to uh, Apple TV Plus. Oh, that's cool. I too. saw the saw the banker, which was mm -hmm. really really good, and then. There's another series that I recommend. It's called Truth Be Told. Mm. Um, it's about a, a podcaster who uh, has some influence over this guy, his him being in prison, him being in prison versus him getting out. It's a really, really good show. Yeah, uh, but I think I am watching, um, I think this is on Netflix, um, uh, Many Fires, Many Little Fires. You've heard of that one? I haven't. Many I haven't. fires. It's really, really good. I, I think that's the name of it. If I can be honest, I just started watching Netflix again, so I'm probably okay. missing out on a lot of shows. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. yeah, actually, I I have a little extra time on my hands. I don't know why, but I'm able to. <laughs> I think we all know why. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch a little bit more Netflix, but and I yeah. will watch a good movie. I'm a sucker for a good movie, man. Absolutely. So you talked about family, you talked about God, you talked about relationships. Um, let's talk about, and we, we talked about support, but let's go back a little bit. Let's talk about the relationship with your mom, man. Mm. Your mom mm. has to be by far your biggest fan. Is that true or is that not true? Oh, that's without a doubt. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, uh, man. Man, she made mamas look bad because she was on top of it, brother. Yeah, I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't even know what to say, man. Uh, she's, she's super consistent with supporting me. 
Um, yeah. I know that even if I'm not around her, if I'm in my room or if I, you know, I'm making some food or something, she's she's always doing something to help my career. Dang. Always something. If it's not on Instagram, she'll be thinking of stuff. You know, so she's a real one. And, uh, you know, I would I don't know what I would do without her for sure. That is, man, that is, again, absolutely phenomenal. Is she also your 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 manager? Is she your momager? Momager. Uh, yeah, she she def- we definitely talk about some things before I do it. You know, I'll come to her. I'll come to uh, my dad, you know, or even my, my grandmother. And so, uh, um, yeah, she 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 manages a little bit. But, you know, I try to I try to make my own decision as well. Cause I'm a grown man now. Well, oh, oh, 19, oh, 19, oh, 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 19, 19. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Yeah, man. Um, Just trying to make decisions for myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, a lot has changed in the music business over the last 30 years. There was a. Um, I'm from the generation where you did your, your three songs on the demo. And you had a bunch of cassettes and you stood outside of hotel rooms and you waited for the likes of the music industry folks to come out. And you hope that they would take not only take your cassette, but take it and listen to it. And you have your phone number written on there, magic marker. And of course, today we don't have that. I mean, I just saw if I want to get at Diddy, I can at Diddy uh, and, and try to get a conversation in his DM or direct message. Are you still looking for a record deal or are you looking to do something more independent that gives you more of full creative control? What are you looking for in that respect as an artist in 2020? I think for me, it's um, before I would like strive for that, like literally just all my eggs in a basket. Let's go full force towards that. I think for me now, it's just about, um, you know, just getting better every single day, uh, getting music, getting music done, uh, posting, uh, you know, TikTok or whatever it may be. Um, and I think that eventually it'll happen organically. Though those, you know, with any artist, if if you're getting stuff out and you gain tra- uh, traction, you know, with fans and stuff like that, um, the labels will eventually, you know, talk to you. I think for me, I can't focus on that because that's how you get. That's how you get discouraged you can't do that you got to just keep on getting better and better and that's the same thing with uh if you're an actor or if you're you're trying to get a raise you know with anything you you just want to focus on getting yourself better and it'll happen yeah that's that's i I would agree um and these days and times with all the social medias can be difficult to not want to compare yourself to other folks but i think that's a very good practice to not and I think that's where a lot of people lose. Sometimes they can start comparing themselves to what other people are doing instead of just yeah. stay focused on what you're doing and do that. And, uh, you know, everything that's supposed to fall into place will fall into place for you. And you'll have a you'll have a joy ride along the way as you are right yeah. now. You're having a joy ride, man. So yeah. yep. appreciate that. Yes, All right, we're coming to the back half of our show. The quarantine concert series. We are with Isaiah Stewart, all the way from Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas. He says he's an R and B singer. I say he's a crooner because okay. he can go all genres. Uh, is there any genre that you won't do? Let don't do reggae. Don't do reggae. <laughs> um, I think for me, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call you out if I see you doing a reggae song. I'm gonna be like Zay. Zay, 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 Zay. <laughs> yeah, I know you. I know you will. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely won't do that. Um, I think for me, it's just about doing what I what I love to do. Because if if I'm if I'm doing that, then it's naturally gonna be uh, how do I say it? Be better. You know, you put something out that you don't like, you just you're not gonna enjoy it. You're not gonna keep, like for me. If I do something that I love doing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to keep going, even if things might look bad for a minute or might look down. If I'm doing something I love, that's going to keep me motivated. So yeah. I say that to any artist, do not do something that you do not like at all. Because if you, if you do, you're eventually not going to be happy. So, but I mean, I wouldn't do like country or something. I, that's not my genre, personally. Okay. You know, anybody who knows country, that, that's cool. But I mean, Beyonce me, pulled off yeah. a country song, man. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. it's got to be right. It's got to be right. As all I can say is as of right now. <laughs> nice. Nice. I, I think I saw you do a um 
Did I ever see you do a song by Old Blue Eyes? Did I ever see you do a song by um who am I? I can't think of his name from the Rat Pack. Um mm -hmm. uh, Ah, the name escapes me right now. Well, he was with Sammy Davis Jr. and uh come on, people, what's the guy's name from the Rat Pack? I think I saw you do a song of old um I can't even think of his name right Are you now. Talking about my girl? No, that's not that's not from the rap. That's um that's a remote now. That's who? No, who who did my girl? Isn't that Temptations? Then, yeah, Smokey Robinson, right? And he in that my girl, or was that he the might have done a rendition of it himself? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you this guy's name. I think I saw you. I got now I got a um the name of the song that I'm thinking of, Frank Sinatra. Did I ever see you do a Frank Sinatra song? No, I don't, I don't Sinatra, think I there it is, right. I never saw you do a Frank Sinatra song. Uh, -uh. I, okay. I like him though, but no, I, I don't. I don't really. Uh, I've never covered one of his songs before. Uh, -uh. my um, my dad, who you know, uh, rest in peace. One of his favorite songs was Frank Sinatra's "My Way." And I, I had never really appreciated that song until I was with him a couple of years ago. Yes, everybody. Frank Sinatra, thank you so much. Everybody's like a thousand Frank Sinatras on the screen. <laughs> uh, but he has a song called My Way. And it is, to me, like one of the most heartfelt songs that I've ever heard from any artist. Frank Sinatra's My Way is one of the top songs that I've ever, ever heard. Get a chance. Check it out. Yeah, for sure. Frank Sinatra, okay. my way, man. Um, it's it's a great, great song. So think about that. Okay, cool. Yeah, right. I, I I've never heard it. I don't think though. Frank so, Sinatra, my way. My way. All right. Cool. I want to talk to you about "Ride for You" and "Down for Me." Mm. Which one was first? Uh, "Down for Me." And what you wrote that? I co-wrote it. It's, you uh, co-wrote it. Okay. Yeah, you want to give a shout out to the other writer? You said what? You want to give a shout out to the other writer? Oh, yeah. Slick Music. Shout out to you, man. Uh, I appreciate He actually produced a song as well. So, it's a great uh, song. You know, it's a great song. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind Down For Me? Well, I mean, it's basically how it sounds, you know what I'm saying? Like, just saying, will a girl be down for me, you know? Yeah. I mean, there's no other way to put it. It's It's super direct. I try to make it to where he would understand it instantly. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Goes, Will you be there? Oh. I mean, it's real, you know, it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It starts oh, out. It's great. Way. Yeah. It's great. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for more music. I have two of your songs. I have, Pool has two of your songs. I listen to two yeah. of your songs on Music's Pool, Down For Me, and the other one is Ride For You. Kind of the same, kind of feel summertime, very youthful, yeah. high yeah. energy, uh, it stirs up some emotions, some feelings, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, man. R Ride for you is basically the, the other way around, saying that I'm gonna be be there for her. I try to correlate those songs, you know what I'm saying? So, Ride for you is uh, basically saying that, like, you know, matter no matter what happens, you know, like when they say us against the world, that's what I'm trying to say is that I'm yeah. gonna be there for her no matter what. Yeah, man. Yeah. What song you gonna give us? Uh, the last one of the of the hour. Which one you gonna? Uh, take us home with whatever you want man have fun do whatever you want to do we are watching yeah, sure. isaiah stewart all right good. all right isaiah stewart the incomparable <laughs> <laughs> the incomparable isaiah stewart when you feel it in your body you find somebody who makes you change your ways like hanging with your crew Said you act like you're it, but you don't really know. Everything in your past, you want to let go. I've been there, done it, I'm doing After all that, girl, this is what I found. Nobody wants to be alone. If you touch body and you're sound, then baby, you got it, you got it back. And when you're on the phone, hang up and you call right back. You got it, you got it bad. And when you miss a date without your friend, your whole life's off track. You know you got it bad when you're stuck in the house. Don't wanna have fun, it's all you think about. You know you got it bad, yeah, yeah.
Well, well. <laughs> yeah, baby. I like that. You killed that one. Isaiah Stewart, y'all. Appreciate it. Isaiah Stewart, man. Isaiah Stewart. Somebody's asking, drop your handles. Where can they find you? Where can they follow you on social media, Isaiah? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, on Instagram, Isaiah.Stewart, I S A I A H dot S T E W A R D. And uh, uh, no, no spaces or anything? No, no, just a dot. Uh, TikTok is the same thing. I mean, you can just look at my name on TikTok and it'll, it'll pull up. Uh, just look up Isaiah Stewart. Um, you know, Twitter, the same thing. Uh, Isaiah Stewart, Facebook, Isaiah Stewart. Uh, yeah, but I got, like I said, I got music on, uh, you know, Amazon Music, uh, Apple, Spotify, Pandora, the whole nine, even SoundCloud. SoundCloud is, uh, that's actually what, that got the most traction was on SoundCloud. So, you know, that's also a good one. Nice. And your music is on musicspool.com, everybody. Don't be a music pool. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> we love those other platforms as well. We want you to be everywhere, but we want them to know and remember that you are also on musicspool.com. Appreciate that. Appreciate you, man. So what's next? You're taking us home. We're about to wrap this show. What's next yeah. for Isaiah Stewart? I know things have changed. We we never really talked about this COVID thing, like, really. But I do believe the game is kind of going to change a little bit for concerts and performances. Yeah. Have you started to think about, you know, what life as an artist for you looks like uh, once we come out of this uh, quarantine, if you will? Oh, I mean, I'll be ready, man. You know, being at home all the time, this quarantine, uh, I really want to perform. But, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. So the best that I could do is utilize my time now with what I got. And, uh, you know, I think this is a good time. I know it might be bad, but it's going to bring a lot of people together, like, mentally. Not physically, obviously, because, you know, social distancing and all that. But, you know, people are not working as much, so there's more time to be on social media. You know, social media is, is crazier than it's ever been right now. I mean, you got people on Instagram lives that get 200,000 views. I mean, that's that's something else. So, right. uh, yeah, so next for me is, you know, just keep just keep doing my thing, man. And, uh, yeah, All I, right. I, say, I appreciate everybody that's in here and uh, watching this live, man. Shout out oh, to you. Oh, man. <laughs> me too. You were, you were fun to have, fun to watch, man. A great entertainer. One of the <laughs> best quarantine concerts that we've ever had. Awesome. Uh, we've only had four, but you're in the top of the four. <laughs> top four. No, you're, you're, no, you're not even top four, but you're like right up there, man. I mean, yeah, uh, this is one of the best ones. This is, if not, if not the best one, this is definitely right there, man. So thank you for keeping yeah. the push that bar and raising the bar, man. So the people that come behind you, I know they like, well, dang, I gotta, I gotta be on it because the quarantine concert series gets hotter and hotter every time. So yeah, it's lit. It's we lit. owe that to you. Uh, hang out with your family. Love to everybody that has joined in. This is Mr. Isaiah Stewart, for those who don't know. And uh, welcome again to the quarantine concert series. Yeah. Isaiah, enjoy yourself. Go watch you some Netflix. Chill out with your family. And we'll catch up with you in the near future, brother. All right. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Peace out.